Basically, it's probably an important thing to know because in our world, when you look at our globe, the United States, or even the entire world, um, when you're asked, or when somebody, like in the, even in the military or whatever, are asked to find a certain spot in the entire world, we use a coordinate plane. You know, with those little lines, we draw lines around our globe, yeah. both the long way, around the equator way, and around the north south pole way. We call those lines what? Latitude. latitude and longitude lines, and when those things crisscross, they form a coordinate plane. Okay, because if you're in the military and you know you want to send a ship out in the middle of the ocean, you can't just tell them to go fly to the big red boat in the sea because there might not be a big red boat in the sea. But you can tell them, you can give them the coordinates or the place where they could go that will tell them where exactly, maybe it's right here, you'll be able to tell them exactly how to get to that point based on the coordinates. Now, a couple things before we get to those coordinates you need to know. Um, we have right here, this line down here, that's where it says the letter X. That is the X-axis. Okay, the X-axis is the one that goes horizontally. Over here you have the Y-axis. It is the one that goes vertically. And it's important to note, right here at this point here, which is actually at the zero point, okay, this thing is called the origin, because it's kind of the starting point. Okay, it's pretty much the starting point there. Okay. Now we have, in order to give that point here, we have what are called the coordinates. Coordinates. Didn't come out very late. Let's try that again. Maybe I'll try that again. Since you had it on big arrays, you had it on big arrays. Coy, now I did what? You don't like the big eraser? No, I like it. It's big, right? Well, that's because the pen is bigger. The eraser doesn't have anything to do with the pen. Because I have this thing going on. Not well. Oh my goodness. Coordinates. I think that's what I want to spell. I gotta spell that right. Maybe I should just stop. Coordinate. F A T. Coordinate. Anyways, when you're given coordinates, okay, you will see this. You will see two numbers. For example, maybe a four, a comma, and a three, and a parenthesis. Okay. This is a coordinate. It's also called an ordered pair. And it's called an ordered pair because the order of it matters. And you have to have parentheses there, you have to have that comma there. The first number in the ordered pair is the x number or the x axis number. And the second number is the y axis number. And these two numbers, this ordered pair put together, give you just one single point on your coordinate system. And the way you find that is you take your x number, which is this 4. Here's my 4 on the x-axis, okay, which represents this entire line is where x is 4. Okay, any place on this line, the x number is 4. The second number is the y number, which is this 3. And any number on this line is where y is 3. But the specific place that you're talking about is where the 4 and the 3 cross. That is the coordinate for the point that is 4, comma, 3. 
is only at that point. Notice it's not in a space. It's directly on a crosshair, a place where those two lines cross, Ryan. Right? I still don't know what Why don't you tell me that six more times? <laughs> That would make sense. Thanks for waiting patiently. Okay, so this is your ordered pair that gives you that coordinate there. Okay, a couple others. Uh, let's say I have uh, 2 comma 8. Okay, you don't have to draw the lines I did, but you can, you can kind of do it like this. Find where x is 2, where y is 8. The place where they cross is the coordinate 2 comma 8. Sometimes it helps to think about the first number as being the over number and the second number as being the up number because I start at the origin, I go over 1, 2, I go up 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Either way you do it, it works. You know, maybe you could see it, maybe you can't, I don't know. But how about this point right here? If I gave you this point and asked you for the ordered pair, what ordered pair would that point be? And again, you have to give the x number has to come first, otherwise I'd get them completely backwards. So you think, you look at this dot, comes straight down, that's the x number, which is 8. Go across, that's the y number, which is 8. And that, make sure you put your parentheses and your comma in there. This is point 8, comma 8. And that is the coordinate for that. I'm pretty sure you probably did this. Many times? Many times not. Um, oh boy, what else do we have here? Uh, sure, why not? How about this point? Sometimes people get confused on when they end up being on the X, either one of the axes. What is this point right here? What is that point, Alex, right there? 1, 9. It is not 1, 9. It's how far over first, and then how far up second. 1, 9. Here, let me give you where 1, 9 is. 1 over, 9 up. Here's 1, 9. This line, this point over here is, from Cal? 9, 0. Yep, 9, comma, 0. It is 9 over and 0 up. It's right there on that axis. Kind of like this point over here. Um, what would be this point right here? Mm -hmm. Right? Zero, five. Zero over, five up. That is correct. That is that point right there. Where would point... Um, by the way, when you get to other levels of math next year, this is only one part of our coordinate system. Uh -huh. We have a part over here, a part down here, and a part down here. We've got all the, all the negative numbers we don't have on here, they go over here and down there. This is one-fourth of our coordinate system. There's a coordinate over here, a coordinate down here. But you only get to do with the positive numbers for us now. How about five comma... Yeah, this doesn't make it be 5, comma, uh, 5, comma, 9. Where would 5, comma, 9 be? Put a mark on your paper at 5, comma, 9. 5, comma, 9. Make sure you label it too there for me, if you need so kind of it. Five, comma, nine. Five over, nine up. Questions or problems? Because I do have one small little tiny worksheet for you to do. Not even something from the book. No, I don't think so. No, I'm and a test.
Oh, that's easy. I think you have to both find them and label them. Yeah, that's easy. Yay! Yeah. 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 Yeah.